why is it that uh, a, a picture of Christ that looks like us isn't being pushed around the world? Or America, I say. It's not what America wants. Right? But why not? It's the land of the free. You got freedom to do whatever you want to do here, right? Why wouldn't they put that out there? They put everything else out. They don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know who you are. And that's all that's recorded in the Bible. Believe it or not, the... Jesus Christ was a Jew. So if we if we're the Jews and Jesus Christ was a Jew cuz we're dealing with bloodlines. These are real men that lived on the earth. These are men that existed that lived on the earth. They were children of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So if if Jesus Christ was a Jew and we're Jews, how did Christ look? Like us. He looked like us. He looked like us. Now why why is it that picture uh perpetuated uh, upon the earth today. Why when we look around at pictures of Jesus Christ, he don't look like us? Part of, the Part of the deception. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The Bible says it's evident that our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, sprang out of the tribe of Judah. He was a Jew. So that's so the word Jew is short for Judah. Give me Hosea 3 and 4 real quick. He was a Jew. All right. We are the real Jews, the so-called blacks. Here in America are the real Jews and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You understand, Reggie? So it's something that, that it's something that happened to us. He said it, Reggie said it was a deception. Uh, DeMonte, what do you think happened? Why is it that, you didn't answer the question, I don't think. Right. Why is it that uh, a, a picture of Christ that looks like us isn't being pushed around the world? Or America, I say. It's not what America wants. Right, but why not? It's the land of the free. You got freedom to do whatever you want to do here, right? Why wouldn't they put that out there? They put everything else out. They don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know who you are. And that's all that's recorded in the Bible. Believe it or not, DeMonte is recorded in the Bible. My brothers, y'all got a couple minutes to learn your nationality? You got to get to the game. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, uh -huh. and without a prince, uh -huh. and without a sacrifice, uh -huh. and without an image. Without a what? An image. And without an image. God said that we're going to dwell many days without an image. All right? Without a king. Without a prince. But most importantly, the point I want in that is that without an image. So we don't know who we are. My brother Reggie, you like one out of a, a million that we can ask out here, hey, what's your nationality? And they're going to tell us that you're an Israelite. Our people just don't know. And it's by design. But most importantly, it's from God and we're going to get into that. All right? Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do not know, my people do not consider. Read it again from the top. The ox knoweth his owner. God says the ox know who his owner is. This is a dumb animal. The ox know I belong to this farm, I belong in this stable with the rest of the oxes. Read. And the mass and the ass his master's crib. You could take a donkey ten miles from his house, leave him, drop him off, and he'll find his way right back home. This is these are dumb animals. Read. But Israel. But who? Israel. Who? Israel. Uh -huh. Do not know. My people do not consider. So not only do we know who we are, but we don't even consider. We just walk around here like my brothers just walked past. Hey, I gotta go to the game. We don't even consider that, man, hold on, let's, let me stop and hear what these brothers got to say. They look like me, they seem knowledgeable. Let me see what these brothers got to say. They don't even consider that. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, one and one. So something happened to our people. Something happened to the children of Israel, all right? Y'all familiar with Moses? Familiar with the story of Moses, all right? So this is Moses, you got uh, one, and, uh, one and one? Yeah, one and one. So this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. So we all agree now that we Israelites, correct? Based off of what the Bible says, based off of historical facts. And we're going to get more into those historical facts. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? 
all Israel. So this, this Bible, the, the first five books, go to 28. The first five books of the Bible was written by Moses. So God gave Moses commandments to give to the Israelites. Right? Remember, he, you have dark-skinned Arabs. You have dark-skinned uh, East Indians, right? You have dark-skinned uh, Asian, right? And we belong to the nation of Israel. All right. So let's see what God says to our people. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is Moses talking to the Israelites. Speak these words like we just read, Deuteronomy 1 and 1, to the Israelites. He said, it shall, it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what God did with, uh, with the Israelites is he gave us commandments. And then he said, look, here's some commandments. And he, these, this is the punishment for breaking the commandments. Let's get some of the punishments that we would, ha that we would uh, succumb to for breaking his commandments. Go to 68. This right here is the scripture that, that woke me up. It, it, helped, it, it made me believe the Bible was a true book and the Bible was my record. All right, read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Read it again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So Egypt, when you read Exodus 20 and 2, Egypt, the Bible says it's synonymous with bondage, because actually the name of that land over there was the land of Ham or the land of Mizraim, all right? Egypt is a Greek word that means bondage or slavery. So the Bible said that he's going to bring us into slavery again. How? With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ships. With cargo slave ships. 1619, 1492, all right? God said if we broke his commandments, he would, he would send us into slavery again. So I just brought y'all out of Egypt up through Moses, but now I'm going to send you back into Egypt, which is slavery. But this time I'm going to send you by way of cargo slave ship. And what's going to happen to us? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Meaning just how I said it's going to happen is the way it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. we, we, we won't see our homeland. We won't see Egypt. This is a different uh, captivity. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So in this place when we get off these slave ships we're going to be sold to who our enemies for bond men for slave men and bond women and slave women read and no man shall buy you when you look into that word buy it means redeem us out of this captivity That's right. why because we have malcolm x right we have uh, dr king right all of these black leaders we had the black panthers we had the brown berets we had um who else do we have? Uh, 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 all these black leaders, but none of us could get us out of this condition that we were in as a people. None, nobody could save us because God said, I'm putting these curses on you. So no matter who tries to save you out of your condition or how much you try and rise up, you're not going to be able to succeed. That's why, Reggie, when you said it's a design to, to keep us, you know, our image hidden and so on and so forth. It's a deception, but it's like even knowing that it's a deception, like we know like something is not right. It's nothing we can do about it. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 